हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू प्राइस यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज स्कॉलरशिप एग्जाम स्टैंडर्ड फिफ्थ ऑनलाइन क्लास सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स एंड द टॉपिक इज पैटर्न नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द एक्सरसाइज थर्टी फोर विच इज अवेलेबल इन अवर नव नीट डायजेस्ट ऑन पेज नंबर थ्री हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटीन सो बिफोर दिस वन वी आर गोइंग टू मेक अ ओवर व्यू फॉर सॉल्व एग्जाम्पल्स सो देर आर द टोटल थ्री एग्जाम्पल्स आर देर सो इन दिस वन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज देर ऑन पेज नंबर थ्री हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटीन इन सॉल्व एग्जाम्पल्स सो क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज देर विच नंबर विल कम इन द प्लेस ऑफ क्वेश्चन मार्क इन द गिवन पैटर्न सो इफ यू ऑब्जर्व केयरफुली वन फोर then नाइन then सिक्सटीन and then question mark is there and after this one थर्टी सिक्स इज देर सो वन फोर थ्री सिक्सटीन नाइन एंड थर्टी सिक्स आर द स्क्वेर नंबर्स ओके बट दीज आर दिन सिक्वेंसली सो वन हैविंग द वन स्क्वेर फोर हैविंग द टू स्क्वेर थ्री नाइन हैविंग द थ्री स्क्वेर सिक्सटीन हैविंग द फोर स्क्वेर लाइक दिस वन वन टू थ्री फोर मीन्स इयर द फाइव स्क्वेर एंड आफ्टर दिस वन सिक्स स्क्वेर इज द थर्टी सिक्स गिवन सो ऑन अ क्वेश्चन मार्क फाइव स्क्वेर मीन्स 25 should be there and 25 is given in option number 2 then question number 2 which will be the next letter in a given pattern so in one first pattern ab is there in a next pattern this last digit means b is there starting with this one but it should be two times of this a means here if a is one number then b should be in two in counting after that one the next digit is the c which is only single times in previously also b is the in single counting after this one c is there so in the next one c should be repeated but that should be in a counting of the three because there is one two and three and then c's next alphabet is the d so like this one this pattern should be like this so d should be now in a four countings because it is one two and three and four four in counting and after the d there is a next alphabet is the e and that should be in single counting so d four time and the e that is given in option number 3 so option number 3 for the question number 2 is a correct one then question number 3 which figure will come in the place of question mark in a given pattern so if you observe there is a square okay and then pentagon so this pentagon will be move means this square will be move to the right end and then this shape of the kite and then pentagon pentagon like this one so it will be moved to the right side at the end of the or we can say at the starting of this one so this square and the next pattern this kite will be moved to the next one okay so from the starting with the this this one so we will move this kite also in the next figure means starting of this on a question mark that should be from the pentagon and after this one there should be the square and then this kite should be there and this pattern is given in option number 4 so for question number 3 option number 4 is the correct one now in exercise question number 1 which of the given alternatives will complete the following pattern so if you observe 1 2 3 5 Eight and then question mark is there. Now one to two, there is a one difference, so that self number is added. Okay, so two to three, this self number two is has added. Then next number form up. Okay, so five to eight, there is a this uh, number and previous number means three is added. Then this number will form like this one eight and this previous number five. If added, so means this self eight is added in a five, so that will be eight plus five. That it should be the 13 and 13 is given in option number 3 means we have to add the previous number to get it the next number that is the meaning so question number 2 how many square numbers are there in two digit natural number so two digit means from 10 to 99 so how many square numbers are there if you have the table our square number table so before the 10 so one square is the 1 two square is the 4 and three square is the 9 so these are the single or we can say the one digit number after this one means that is a 1 2 and 3 so after 99 10 square is the 100 okay so that is the 100 so that 10 is there so 1 2 3 and this is a fourth number i am saying first second third and this fourth number so 10 minus 4 okay so that is the Six number are there, and six is given in option number four. So there are the six numbers having the square number is a two-digit number. Okay, that is the meaning. So question number three: How many triangular number are there in a given list? So 
6 is the triangular number i just note down the triangular number here 9 is not a triangular number then 10 is there then 12 is not a triangular number after this one 15 is there then uh, 21 is there and then 36 is there so these are the triangular number so 1 2 3 4 and 5 so total 5 numbers are there and this is a given 5 in option number 1 for question number 3 option number 1 is the correct one then for question number 4 if you see the figure question number figure in the first square there is a 1 or we can say 1 by 1 okay then in the next figure that is the two dots and from the this direction and from these directions also the two dots so means we can say two by two in next figure there is the three dots in vertically and from the horizontal also three dots so this three and this three for the visualize so this is a three by three pattern so like this one in the next to replace the question mark we have to give the four by four means four dots in vertical and four dots in horizontal and this is given in option number two then question number 5 1 3 6 and 10 so next number so now if you observe 1 3 6 and 10 these are the triangular numbers so after the 10 there is a 15 is a one triangular number in a sequentially and 15 is given in option number 2 then question number 6 so there are the petals in one first figure there are the four petals so one from the bottom is hide so three petals remaining in the next one from the left side one again one petal is hided means that is a clockwise hiding is there so likewise top one will be hide and at the question mark only one petal will be remaining which is the at the right side okay so as a like a uh, option number two has given so that's why option number two is a correct one then question number seven so here the total one two three four five six seven and eight eight petals means there are the we can say the pair of the four petals okay so at the middle one is hided and after this one the next figure comes and after this one the horizontal is hided and after this one if you see their positions means the tilting positions so uh, option number one is a vertical option number two is a horizontal but these petals are not present in a previous figures so means option number three should be there so that is a perfectly matching with our hiding uh, pattern so that's why option number three for the question number seven is a correct one then question number eight first two squares from the top and the bottom is hided from the vertical rows then in the next from the next figures left side and the right side ended portions uh, squares is getting hided that means top means vertically and then horizontally this squares has hidden so as per these patterns after that the to replace the question marks uh, the option number four means that a vertical patterns two squares getting hided means in horizontal there are the total five squares and in vertical there are the three squares will be remain so option number four is the correct one now question number nine there is a circle inside and the four arrows like uh, in clock 12, 3 and 6 and the 9 position. Then 6 positions or we can say the downward arrow is getting hided in the next figure. After this one 9 uh, or we can say the left side uh, arrow is hided means that is a clockwise uh, pattern is there hiding pattern we can say. So likewise the next figures the 12th positions means the upward directions of the arrow will hide only the uh, to the 3 o'clock means toward the right side that arrow will be there and this is given in option number 3. So for question number 9 option number 3 is the correct one. For question number 10 arrow is toward the right side in next figure toward the downward next figure toward the left and then upward means this is a like a, we can say the clockwise rotations. So for a question mark replacing we have to make the arrow in a right direction from the upward to the right direction means the first figure will be matching with the this one so this figure given in option number one then question number 11 complete the sequence observing the pattern choose the correct options so there are the three terms already given so if you observe here square is there after this one the plus sign and then star but this is a solid somewhat be then again the plus sign and then star is there and then square means that is that this square will be moved to the right end okay so after this one also 
this plus sign is moving to the right that side so this is a starting with the this star and then square and then plus sign so with continue this one so this star will be at the end to replace the question mark and uh, before this one this square mark and this addition to this shown means like this one square and then plus sign and star will at the end of, of this one so this pattern is given in option number one so the option number one for question number 11 is the correct one thank you